Now, we've hunted with this quite a bit of times, but we've never actually hunted with a particular ammunition that we're going to be loading in it today, and that's going to be the 12 gauge loaded with buckshot. Holy, we're headed to our first spot right now, and we just spotted a massive whitetail buck trotting along the bottom of this ridgeline down here. There's a couple of deer with him, so what we're trying to do now is figure out where they're heading to next. If we can cut them off, that would be absolutely perfect. There he is, right there, right there, right there. There's our buck. All right, so he's 260 yards out. He's quite a ways out. We got coyotes right below us. We got coyotes right below us. I think we could actually probably potentially take down this coyote and not spook our big buck. Oh my God, another big buck. That's a big buck. That's a big buck. Okay, pass up the coyote. We're definitely going for this big buck. Holy, is that thing massive. He's only 100 yards out. We can take up to a 50 yard shot, so we still definitely need to get quite a bit closer. But that is an awesome looking white tail buck. That's a good one there. But the big buck is right in there. Yeah, it's gonna be way better if we try and figure out where they're gonna feed at this point and then sneak up on them. Because for us to try and cut them off here, right out in this wide open desert, we had pretty much like no cover. And so we stood out like a sore thumb. And okay, there's our buck. Let's watch him. All right, well, according to the map, it looks like they're heading down here to this peninsula here. And if I had to guess, I would say they may be actually going over here to feed. All right, here we go. We're heading to the last place that we saw our buck. And we actually have a nice little channel right down here where we should be able to overlook from this position. I mean, honestly, we got tracks right there headed right into it. So they're probably... Right in here. That's probably where they're at. Oh my god, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. Uh, that is not our herd of whitetail. But it's not a bad looking buck. Oh my god, that was our big buck. Holy, we just took him at 70 yards out. I didn't even realize it was him. So he must have been tucked in there somewhere and we didn't see him because when we spotted him, uh, I definitely wasn't spotting that buck. But then when we pulled out the shotgun, I saw the rack and I was like, oh, that's a big buck. Let's take our time and focus on making a good shot here. And that's exactly what we did. Took him at 75 yards with the buck shot. Holy, that was out there. Normally, I wouldn't have taken a shot that far on a buck that big because, well, let's just be honest. We wanted to make a good shot. And uh, that's pretty risky to take that far of a shot with the 12 gauge and the buck shot. But if it was the 160 or 170s buck, then I would have taken it. And that's why I was getting ready to take the shot. But at the same time, he was walking past broadside and we couldn't resist it. So I just held a little bit higher and we squeezed the trigger. And I think we connected. Oh my god, that was awesome. That was awesome. Alright, so he was out here somewhere. They crossed right over here. I'm seeing some blood right here, but it's not looking that promising to me. Oh, hold up. That's actually not the initial spot. Had me a little bit worried there for a second. Blood rate medium. All right, we got some more good blood here. Down to 25%. Things are looking pretty promising so far. And our buck is piled up right over here. He made it about 60, maybe 70 yards. And ended up right here. Let's take a look at him and see how we did. Ended up pulling off a 70 yard lung, liver, intestine shot. With the 12 gauge and the buck shot on a 223 Gold whitetail buck. Look at that shot placement. That's probably our best shot with the buck shot of all time. To be able to hit all three vitals at the same time. You're talking liver, intestine, and lung. 70 yards, we're zeroed in for 50, and I was holding for top of the lung, like right here. And you can see we dropped quite a bit, but then we also got one that hit way up here and up here as well. Nonetheless, man, that was absolutely epic. I am pumped. 
to go try and get that other big buck now. All right, so I actually tried to find that other whitetail buck, but for some reason he decided to go the opposite direction of the way that we wanted to go. So we're not going to have a good wind if we continue on that path. So we decided to come back and look for some pronghorn, and we just got a call from a male pronghorn buck right over this ridge here. Right there, right there. Oh my God, right there, right there, right there. Oh my God, he got so close to us. We jumped him. Son of a... All right, you guys, we got fresh tracks going right down to this point, right down to this point. Once we get out here, it's going to be a wide open valley and we'll have a nice opportunity for a shot. All we got to do is hope that he makes it there. He's going there. Oh my God, here we go. All right, guys, there he goes. He's on the left. He's on the left. We're trying to cut him off right now. We're getting as fast as we possibly can to get to this point here and we're going to go for a shot. I'm actually going to zero in for 80. We're going to have to hold high and we're going to have to take the shot. There he goes right there. This is our chance. That's a hit. That's another hit. Oh my God. He's hit twice. I don't know if that's going to take him down or not, but oh my God, it's taking him down. No freaking way. Holy, what a shot. 90 yards out on the run with buckshot. And I do believe he just tipped over. That is going to be by far our farthest shot ever with the 12 gauge and the buckshot. Holy, what a rush. We're over here running, trying to get down to the edge of this cliff here. And we also wanted to make sure we took the shot before he got out of the uh, opening here and went into the thick brush. And I let him a little bit too much that first shot. I thought it was going to be good, but it actually let him a little bit too much. But the follow-up shot connected quite nicely. And then, oh, no freaking way. No. You're kidding me. That's a vital hit. Dude, do you realize that is a vital hit? Unbelievable. A 90-yard vital hit on that pronghorn buck we only shot three times and the first shot missed that means he's only hit twice and there's our pronghorn buck down right there let's go take a look at him first off let's take a look at the horns oh looks decent to me look at that color wow let's pick it up okay first off it wasn't big enough to be a gold and second off, this first shot here, no, the second shot hit the skull. So our first shot here was 93 yards and we dropped a little bit low. Then we compensated a little bit higher on that second shot there, the follow-up. And holy, look at that shot. Legitly got three pellets into the lung. Three pellets. Look at that. That back one there almost hit liver actually. But then that one hit back of the lung. This one hit front of the lung. Then we got intestine hind quarter oh my god look at that one two three four five six seven pellets hit this thing at 94 yards on the run you really can't be too disappointed about that shot there you really can't wow oh my god look at the size of that buck holy 236 minimum on that thing no joke i couldn't even spot the buck all i could see was something that looked like a massive rack sticking up right out of that brush and i spotted it and looked and i just got absolutely stunned at the scoring estimate on that thing that is a giant and it's dime potential too it is dime potential i can't really see the full rack so i can't tell exactly how big it is but it is a giant nonetheless so we actually popped up in this uh tower stand here because I was trying to find some pronghorn up here and sure enough we got a massive white tail buck right there feeding out there about 250 yards out from us now this is going to be one heck of an epic stock oh there's his rack okay so he's not a diamond but he's definitely a 249 probably yeah, maybe like a 249 or 250. He's giant for sure, but he doesn't have the diamond rack. Um, but the reason it's going to be difficult to stock up on this thing is because he's in the brush and there's a bunch of deer right before him and us. So we basically need to get all the way up to this hill somehow undetectably and work our way around this way coming from the back side in order to get to right about here. That way we have a decent angle for a shot on this giant buck. If only we could remember how to get out of here. Where is the door? 
All right, seriously. So the good thing is we're 280 yards away. That means we can run for quite a ways down here as long as we stay low. And they're not going to be able to detect us at all. Whoa, we got some rabbits down here. We pull off a nice little double, potentially even a triple there. But we are definitely not about to risk spooking that giant buck. Because holy is he impressive. But I mean, if he's just going to sit there, we're not going to not take a shot. You know what I mean? There we go. We got dinner. All right. So we just looped around all the way to that mountain top, which is where I wanted to get to. And once we get to this mountain right here, we're going to be about 80 yards out from that giant buck. He's just on the back side of that hill. In fact, if you look right here, you can see he's right there. The mountain that we're trying to get up to is right in front of us here. So we'll be looking pretty good. I don't know where our giant buck is at. I just saw him there. He was right there. Oh, there he is. Oh my God, there he is. He's in range. He's 80 yards out. I mean, not ideal range, but he's definitely... Come on, come on. Don't do that. Don't you do that. You are not going to do that. You better turn around, Buck. You better turn around, Big Buck. Look at that rack. We have less than seven in-game minutes to make this happen. And we have deer all around us at this point. So at this point, we really don't have a choice besides just going for it. We're going full send right here. Okay, well, we got his attention. Give me a broadside shot. Give me a broadside shot, big buck. Come on. Oh, come on. I would have taken it, but he was facing directly at us. And I'm definitely not about to take a front on shot with the buck shot. I'll tell you that. Not on a buck with that caliber. We got to be careful. Really careful. Whoa, 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 that would not be careful. We got to take the shot. We absolutely got to take this shot. Well, I'm not going to take that shot, but. Definitely taking that one, though, I'll tell you that. Got him right through the tree. And this is a rush to try and cut off this big buck without spooking the rest of these deer. Holy, is this a rush? Left lung shot. Drop that doe there. Ah, he spooked. Son of a. I don't know how. I mean, there's a chance he may have spooked when we took the shot at that doe with the recurve, but. Okay, there's a doe right there. They didn't go very far if he's already slowing down. Oh my God, there he is. Okay. At least this time, we're high up and we can see him for quite a ways. But something tells me he is not going to come into the call. I uh, might. He just might. All right, guys, we made it all the way down to where we last saw that giant buck. And I can't find any more tracks. I got one track here, but it says he was cutting this way. Unfortunately, if we go that way, we're going to have a bad wind. I can't really imagine that he would have went that way. Because I got all the tracks coming this way. Except for his track. I found his track. Oh my god, I thought that was him. Oh my god, I thought that was him too. So these are not the bucks that we're looking for. But they are not bad sized bucks either. There's also a good chance that he may be in here. Boy, I wish I had a tent right there right now. I would totally run over there climb up on that cliff and be able to cut off all these bucks, but we don't. So we're just going to have to haul it and see what happens. Oh my God. It worked. Dude. That's a one trivial. Yeah. 
If only our big buck was in there, we could have had him. But he wasn't in there. You're telling me none of those shots connected. Look at that. You're talking three pellets going right for the liver. I mean, yeah, we didn't hit lung, but those were all going right for the liver. And then one of the spine. Those shots didn't connect. This one here definitely should have connected. For sure. Same with this one here. All three of these. All right, so we know our giant buck beds over there, and we know he feeds over there. That means tomorrow, we're going to be right over there, waiting for that big buck to come in. Oh my freaking God, you guys. We came back the next morning, and look at what we have right here. We found our giant buck, but there's an even bigger one now, and that thing is dying potential. Holy... I knew that's where they were betting. There's the same buck that was in the herd. Dude, we were right there last night and instead of cutting to the left, which is where these guys are, we cut right because we followed those two other bucks and that's where we took down that one over there. But they were sitting right on this point. Look at that. Oh my God, is that a heck of a buck. The only thing is, there's no possible way of sneaking up on these bucks. There's just no possible way. I don't even know what you would do. They are literally, oh, well. Yeah, they busted us. Yeah, so basically at this point, all we can really do is try and jump him up until he comes to an opening. Because there is nothing we can do in this thicket. Absolutely nothing we can do. Ooh, nice pronghorn buck. Nice pronghorn buck right there. He's coming this direction. I don't know how in the heck we're going to get a shot off through here, but there's a chance. We may be able to pull off a little pocket somewhere. And just wait for him to intersect. When he can do that, then we may get a shot. I don't know, but we'll see what happens. Oh, there he is. Oh my god, I see him. I see him. I see him. You guys, he's less than 70 yards out coming out right now. Wait, he's behind that hill. Oh. Well, hopefully he comes out through here. Oh my god, he's right there. He's right there. He's right there. He's 50 yards. There he is. Smoked him. Come on, that should have been a good shot. Yes, it was. We were maybe a little bit low, but I mean, that wasn't hardly 50 yards, was it? Mm, barely, it was like 48 yards probably. Yeah, like 44 yards. Turkey. gone all right wow so that actually did work out and there he is piled up right there guys look at that that's pretty much the exact same place that we initially spotted him right over there it is it's literally the exact same place that we spotted him and the odds of that working out was very very slim oh we got some more pronghorn out there too cutting across i'm wondering if they might have been bedded in there Got a buck way out in the front, a small one. And here's our buck down right here. Let's take a look. Our shot was 46 yards. It's going to be a goal. 80.51. 46 yard right lung shot. Looks like we put four pellets into the lung there. So a great, great shot. And an excellent turnout with a 12 gauge and the buck shot. Our first goal pronghorn down. There we go. All right, you guys, we couldn't find that buck, and it's the next morning now. We came down to this exact same location where we last saw our buck, and guess what's coming across right over here? We got a couple of bucks, but one of these is a freaking giant, and where is he? Oh, there he is right there. Oh, my God. Okay, so the wind is actually blowing this way, and we really need to do a lot of things quickly. Unfortunately, I don't have enough time to even talk. We just got to get there. Just trust me, okay? Just trust me. We got to get there. We got to get there quick. Because the wind will be blowing right towards them. And 
That would not be a good situation. All right, guys, all we got to do is get to the top of this hill right here. And once we do that, we should be in position to get a shot on our giant time potential white tail buck. This is a very time sensitive situation here. We got to make it all the way to the top so we have a good win. I hear something. Oh, my God. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, my God, you guys, there it is. No way. It worked. It worked. Oh, what a perfect setup. We got all the way over here to this ridge. Now, that buck is either going to come to the left of us or down here in the bottom. Yeah, that's what I thought's going to happen. They're going to cut right in front of us, guys. Oh, my God. What a perfect setup. I can't even believe this. All right, we're zeroed for 50. There's one of the big bucks. There's one of the big bucks right there. 70 yards out. It's not our diamond buck yet, but he should be coming out here any second now. What is that? What is that? Please tell me that wasn't it. Oh, that's not it either. Oh, my God, but that's him. That's him. That's him. He's 80 yards out right there. He's got to move. He's got to move. That buck's in the way. That small buck's in the way. There he is. 60 yards. Oh, my God. No freaking way. He just bedded down 60 yards away from us. Unbelievable. He's perfectly broadside right there, too. All right. We just got to take our time and get a little closer. We're going to take a shot on this buck here. And we may be able to double up on that one. But our primary focus is going to be getting this buck right here. Oh, that's going to be tough because he's so dark and he's in a dark spot right there. Do you see that? All right. I'm going to check to see if we can pull off this shot. Oh, yeah. Smoked him. Doubled up. Come on. Come on. Tell me we doubled up. We smoked our three. We definitely smoked our three. He's down 50% health. There he goes right there. Watch him. He's down. He just piled up right there, guys. He just piled up right there. Holy, our giant time potential whitetail is down. And there's a chance we might have got the other big buck as well. We definitely hit him. I saw him running off that direction there. I wasn't sure if he piled up or not. We do have a lot of hunting pressure here, so it's going to be very difficult to be able to tell. R3 is piled up right here, and he's definitely dime potential. Well, let's take a look at him. Here he is. Wow, look at the size of that rack. It's going to be a diamond. 61 yard, five shots to the lung, and a 255 diamond whitetail buck. Look at that. We took him down with a 12 gauge and the buck shot. Holy, did he barely make diamond. 255.6. But you know what? That's a diamond in my books right there. Looks like one of our shots actually almost hit him in the neck. And I wonder if that would have dropped him as well. Didn't quite get the penetration to hit the neck. But we got two right in the lung. And looks like one of them actually hit the bottom of uh, his antler there. And the other one kind of just whizzed by. So yeah, 60 yards. And we got ourselves a diamond white tail buck with the 12 gauge. And the buck shot. That was incredible. All right, guys, the question is, did we get that second buck or not? We got blood right here and it's down to 50%. It is not looking bad. I'm thinking we may have gotten an intestine shot. Which will for surely take down this buck. So yeah, buck shot, you can imagine they're going to go a long ways. And there he is piled up right on top of the ridge, guys. There's our buck piled up right there. What an awesome spot for him to go down. And there he lays. Look at that. Just as pretty as a picture. Wow, look at the incredible backdrop here. Unbelievable. I absolutely love that picture. Wow. Well, it doesn't look so good like that, but just like that right there. Just absolutely stunning. All right, let's pick him up. It's going to be an intestine hit at 76 yards, and it's because we took the shot as he was running forward. So our shot hit a little bit. Our shot pattern hit a little bit far back. How do we have held for right here when we took the shot? We would have ended up hitting right here, and it would have been a double. It was still a double. I mean, who am I kidding? That's a double in my books, even though we didn't quite get vitals on that. 
That shot there almost hit stomach. And the liver would have been just a little more forward there, but looks like we got three into the intestine. And that's going to take him down. There we go. Man, that was awesome. 76 yards out as well. So he was quite a ways out there. He was definitely a little bit further. And it's going to be a 222. Holy, did it all pay off. We initially spotted a huge whitetail out there. It was a 230 plus. And we snuck all the way over to the backside. Couldn't quite get into range. We got to 80 yards out and we could not cross that 80 yard mark. Then we actually did have him kind of facing right towards us at about 70. But it wasn't a broadside shot. So we decided to opt out on taking that shot. And he was long gone at that point. And what happened was he actually bedded down here. The next morning we came back and there was an even bigger buck there. That is our dime potential buck that was bedded right there. We tried to sneak around him and again, he caught our scent. That thing took off and he was way the heck over up in these mountains somewhere over here. Probably a mile and a half away. Looped all the way down over there. That's where we found our second pronghorn buck. Then, I don't know, I lost his track. So we came back the next morning. And I actually came down to this point here and looked over this ridge. There was no sign of any bucks here. So I thought, well, why don't we try and get all the way over to this cliff here? We got all the way down to this point and that's where we spotted him coming in from right over here. We had to hightail it all the way over to this point. We got up set up perfect and they literally bedded down right in front of us right here. We have a perfect win, had a perfect setup. Everything was just absolutely beautiful. He came right past, bedded down 60 yards out from us, and we smoked him. And that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Man, that was awesome.